Hello, everyone. I am Chao Chuan. Today, let's talk about DARPA and the Yanchuanosaurus Magnus. Yanchuanosaurus Magnus is a huge carnivorous dinosaur, almost more than 10 meters in length. As a fearsome animal from the late Jurassic, it lived in the present-day Sichuan Basin, near the Yanchuanosaurus shanuensis that we are all familiar with. Some people think that Yanchuanosaurus magnus is actually conspecific with Yanchuanosaurus shanuensis, and it is a fully adult form. However, it greatly differed from Yanchuanosaurus shanuensis, especially in some features on the skull and the overall body proportions. First, let's take a look at this dinosaur's overall appearance. Visually, its head was heavy, and its body was massive and robust. Its body was very thick, somewhat different from that of Yanchuanosaurus shanuensis. The body of Yanchuanosaurus shanuensis looked more slender, the head of Yanchuanosaurus magnus looked larger in proportion to its body, while the head of Yanchuanosaurus shanuensis was relatively smaller. The skull length of Yanchuanosaurus shanuensis was about 80 centimeters, or maybe longer. Although the skull fossil of Yanchuanosaurus magnus is incomplete, based on its complete mandible, we can know that the entire length of its skull was about 1.1 meters, and its whole body size was much larger. The entire body of Yanchuanosaurus magnus was estimated to be over 10 meters, and some even speculate it could reach 11 meters. Yanchuanosaurus shanuensis was also very long, about 8 meters. Although it sounds like the difference between them in length is only 2 meters, the difference in body shape is enormous. Through these two dinosaur models, we can intuitively compare the size differences of the two dinosaurs. You can see that although Yanchuanosaurus magnus only was 2 meters longer than Yanchuanosaurus shanuensis, their overall body shape and volume are still greatly different. When we usually hear some body values of dinosaurs, if we only understand them in terms of body length. Sometimes we cannot intuitively get the size difference between the two dinosaurs. Now, let's look at the characteristic details of its body parts step by step. The head of Yanchuanosaurus magnus looked more rounded than that of Yanchuanosaurus shanuensis. We can analyze this from the upward tilt of the maxilla in front of its remaining skull. Its head appeared taller than that of Yanchuanosaurus shanuensis. The head of Yanchuanosaurus shanuensis was more slender. Although the head of Yanchuanosaurus shanuensis was also very tall, it was more slender than Yanchuanosaurus magnus. The head of Yanchuanosaurus magnus was more rounded. When we did the reconstruction this time, we designed lips for the Yanchuanosaurus magnus. This dinosaur had very long teeth that can be observed from its skull. Since the upper teeth were covered with lips, their length was invisible from the outside. But, if you look to the inside, you can see that the upper teeth are actually relatively long. Its lips covered such relatively long teeth. Looking at its appearance from the side, you can see that the entire head of this dinosaur is rounder. Its mouth can open very wide, almost more than 60 degrees when alive. With such lips, the gums on its lower jaw may be more exposed. Its lower lip appeared thinner so that it could accommodate the longer upper teeth. When the mouth was closed, its lips may be shaped like a smile. The skull of Yanchuanosaurus magnus may have two rows of relatively large keratinous structures, like the upper part of the skull of Yanchuanosaurus shanuensis. Its fossil is incomplete and only preserved to this part. The part that fingers cannot block is missing. However, we can still see the keratinous structure extending upward from the remaining fossils. Therefore, when we did the restoration, we designed it like this with reference to the top of the skull of Yanchuanosaurus shanuensis. There were two relatively round lacrimal horns and two lower keratinous structures that slightly expanded to the sides in front of the lacrimal horns. Based on the eye sockets of this type of dinosaur, its eyes were quite small, which is probably what the model shows. It had relatively large ear holes and a somewhat prominent nose. Its nostrils were huge. When it was alive, the nostrils were located further downwards, and the nostril openings may be larger than those of reptiles seen today. Because this large animal requires a smoother oxygen delivery system, 
When breathing, it may have larger nostrils to allow the body to absorb more oxygen. Its entire body looks more compact, and the head-to-body ratio of this dinosaur seems larger than that of Yenturinosaurus shamuensis. Its body was more compact than that of Yenturinosaurus shamuensis, and its torso was thicker and shorter. Its size was very large, so the muscles on its legs were thicker than those of Yenturinosaurus shamuensis. In addition, we can use the length of the dinosaur's thighs to analyze that its legs were not long compared to its whole body. But they were still relatively stout and robust, and could move fast. Unfortunately, its forelimbs were not found. We can speculate on the size of this dinosaur's forelimbs based on the relatively complete forelimbs of Cetronosaurus. Its tail was rather thick. Some fossils of caudal vertebrae at its tail end were found. These caudal vertebrae were huge, so we can speculate that the dinosaur's tail was also muscular. According to Cetronosaurus, its forelimbs can be speculated to be very huge, with very well-developed claws like Allosaurus, which are perfect tools to prey. In addition, although this dinosaur's neck has not been fully discovered, based on the known cervical vertebrae, we can speculate its neck may be longer than that of Tyrannosaurus rex. There might be loose skin up to the throat. No skin fossils of this dinosaur have been found, but based on dinosaurs such as Allosaurus, we can deduce that its skin might be covered with fine scales, with some larger scales mixed in. According to Yenturinosaurus shamuensis, we can speculate that Yenturinosaurus magnus also had a similar rough structure on the top of its back vertebrae. When it was alive, it might have a series of spikes attached to its back, making this dinosaur look more fierce. Good, the above concludes our introduction of Darpa and the Yanchurinosaurus Magnus. Thank you all.